In this part of the lesson, we'll look at two very simple ways to run the subroutine that we've been creating over the previous few parts of the lesson. So to get started, we'll open up the workbook which contains the code we've been creating. And as we already enabled the content in the previous lesson, this is now a trusted document. If you have downloaded a copy of this file from the link on the page, then you may need to click the enable content button in order to run your code. Let's look first of all at how to run the subroutine from within the Visual Basic editor. So let's go to the Developer tab and click Visual Basic. And if needed, open up the Modules folder and double click on Module 1. To run a subroutine from within the Visual Basic editor, you first of all need to make sure that you've clicked somewhere within the subroutine that you'd like to run. Bear in mind that in future you'll have many different subroutines in the same module, so it's important to select the one that you actually want to run. Having done this, you've got several choices for how to launch it. The simplest by far is to just click on the little green triangle button up on the toolbar here. You'll notice that if you hover the mouse cursor over that button, it shows you the keyboard shortcut that you can press, which is simply the F5 key. Alternatively, you can head to the Run menu and choose the same option from there, Run Sub User Form, with the same keyboard shortcut listed. And that's the option I'm going to choose. Once the subroutines run, this one shouldn't take very long at all, you'll need to switch back into Excel in order to see if it's had the desired effect. So what I'm going to do is click back on the Excel button in the top left hand corner to switch back to the Excel window. And here I can see that I've got a new worksheet called Sheet 2. And I've got the word Wise Owl in cell A1. And hopefully today's date sitting in cell A2. If I make the column wide enough, that will display there correctly. You can also choose to run a subroutine from within the Excel window. On the Developer tab in the ribbon, you'll find there's a button called Macros. Macro is simply the name given in Excel to a subroutine. So if I click the Macros button, what it will do is list out all of the subroutines that exist in any open workbooks. All I need to do in order to run it is either double click on the name in the list or click on it once and click the Run button. And again, I should see that I get a new worksheet, this time <laughs> inventively called Sheet 3. And if I change the width of the column, I'll see that I get the name of the person and also the date on which it was run. At this point, you could either have a look at the extra practice session on this page, which asks you to make a few small changes to the code you've written and practice running the subroutine again. When you're happy with that, you can move on to the next part of the lesson, which describes what to do when things go wrong when you run a subroutine. Speaking from bitter experience, that's a really important skill to have.